So we're at a stage right now where we've got to do a lot of work under the liner before the liner goes down. So we're going to be building this dock here. And this dock is going to go right up against the side of this, um, this road. So picture this. As you can see, yesterday we poured the concrete footings for the um, for, for the footings that go underneath the liner. Let me show you what, what happens here with this. There's going to be, um, you obviously have the concrete footing that's here, but there's going to be one inch worth of um, horse pad that we're going to cut and put right on top of the concrete here to, to be able to make sure that we don't have a pinch point between the concrete footing that's going to be on top and the liner that's going to be sandwiched in between. So it's going to be concrete, horse pad, liner, horse pad, then the top footing that the railroad tie bridge rests upon so that the water can flow underneath this bridge. The design behind this is, is so that you get to drive along this road and you get to go across this railroad tie bridge and you have this beautiful five, six foot tall waterfall coming down in this cove back over here. But when you're, when you're standing from this perspective and you look out that way towards the mountain, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna have this dock that comes out into the lake and comes back up against the road. And that road area that I just showed you is right here. So that gives you a nice little shallow area right over here for fishing for small baby fish, you know, bluegill or whatever. And then this whole outer area here, we're gonna put in cleats so that they can dock their sea dews or their paddle boards or their kayaks or whatever it is on the outside of this. And we are going to extend that area there where the fire hose is just about another maybe five to 10 feet in closer so that if you wanna take a running jump along the dock here, you can take a running jump because check this out. Where I'm standing right now, water level is about here. So this is about water level at this point. So what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to dig this out just a little bit more so that when you come out on this, on this dock, you've got this running jump here that goes straight on out into the deep end of the lake. So what we've got now is you've got everything laid out in grids. So you see this footing right over here. This is gonna be a footing. So this footing is gonna go two foot by two foot by two foot deep. The bottom foot is gonna be concrete, just like up top over there where the bridge is. And the liner goes down now only one foot deep because it'll be actually 11 inches deep because there'll be horse pad on top of this concrete underneath the liner. So the liner goes down and comes back up. And now on top of this goes Another footing that goes out like this that has rebar going down through the sonar tubes and goes out into the concrete here and comes out and down into the concrete here. What that does is that gives us two things. That gives us really great stability to hold the weight of this dock that comes out over here. But by pouring a concrete sonar tube, what that does is that protects the water from rotting out what might be a pier or a, a or or a piece of wood that would go inside the water otherwise. So when we pour those sonar tubes, the top of the sonar tube is gonna be about two inches above the water line. So here's your water line here. Here's the top of the sonar tube. And then our strong ties going to the concrete and those, and those strong ties going into the concrete uh, holds the, the, um, the, uh, the, the wood structure for this pier that goes out. All of this has to be done while we're waiting for the liner to get here. And this is an awful lot of work. There's a lot of concrete, there's a lot of mixing, there's a lot of digging, there's a lot of precision at this point. So before the liner shows, this has to be done. We have to complete the final shape over here. And the next step is, is we've got a lot more rock showing up onto this job site. I hope that you get, that this video gives you better insight as to how to build a pier that comes out into your pond, how to build a bridge, and how to be able to do this. Because one thing I've learned over time is that this is something that is so advanced, most pond people, they can't wrap their head around the simplicity of how it is 
to be able to put liner down and to be able to have a bridge or to have a pier on your own pond. You can do this, by the way, in a much smaller scale in your own backyard, and we've done it plenty of times. Believe it or not, I learned how to do this years and years ago when I collaborated with Sarah Bendrick on a project um, uh, for the DIY network called I Hate My Yard. And of all people in the world that taught me how to do it, it was actually Eric Triplett, the pond digger himself. And ever since he taught me how to do this, I watched, I listened, I learned, and I applied. And I hope you do too. If you're new to my channel, and if this is the first time you're seeing something really cool like this, and if you like this video, if you wanna see more, do me a favor, Leave a comment down below, ask your questions, subscribe, and if you want to see this more often, hit that bell notification. But in the meantime, I got to get to work. And I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens, and I'm here to remind you that getting your footings down below the liner and doing it the right way really, really matters. Happy ponding.